It was recently reported that Lineage OS 18.1 is now available for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. So I went ahead and grabbed this phone out of the closet. And today I'm going to show you how to install the first official build of Lineage OS 18.1 on this smartphone. Now before we, we begin, we're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. For instance, we're going to need to have an unlocked bootloader for us to install a custom recovery, as well as install any type of modified code on this phone. So if you have not unlocked the bootloader yet, be sure to look in the video description below and check for the uh, link that I include specifically for how to unlock this bootloader. I've done a tutorial on it already, so you can just refer to that. Not only that, but we are also starting from the latest version of MIUI for this device, which right now is 12.0.1.0. This version may be different for you depending on when you're doing this tutorial or even which version of MIUI, which region of MIUI you are using. You're also going to need to download both the Lineage OS custom ROM as well as the Lineage OS recovery. Now you're likely going to be able to flash the Lineage OS zip file from a custom recovery like TWRP. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be going by Lineage's official guide. So, so we'll be using their own custom recovery for this process. And again, I'll be including the download links for those as well in the video description. Now, once we have all of that set up, we can then power down the smartphone and then boot up into fast boot mode. Now, again, if you're not familiar with how to do this or anything else in this video, check the video description below because I'll be including a specific tutorial that shows you how to boot this phone into fast boot mode. We're going to be using the button combination here, but you can also use the ADB reboot bootloader command if you wanted to. With the phone in fast boot mode, we're going to need to connect it to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're going to open up either a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So here we have the zip file, which is the Lineage OS custom ROM, as well as the image file, which is the Lineage OS recovery. And these are the two files that we need to, we need to have in our ADB and Fastboot tools folder so that whenever we open up a command prompt, we can actually execute those fastboot commands, which first we're going to be flashing the recovery image. So the command is going to be fastboot space flash space recovery space, and then the name of that recovery image, which if we look back is lineage OS 18.1. So we can start typing out that. And usually most operating systems and programs like PowerShell will let you tab to complete. So I can press the tab button twice so that it will auto complete the entire file name. So we have fastboot space flash space recovery and then lineage OS dash 18.1 and whatever the else the name of your file name is. With that done, we simply need to press the enter button on the keyboard to execute that command. We should see two things right here. We should see Fastboot sending that file to recovery and then writing that file to the recovery partition. And both of those should get an okay message right here. Now we need to reboot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 into recovery mode. 
which now should be that custom lineage OS recovery. We can do that a couple of different ways. We could keep the phone connected to the PC and issue the command fastboot space reboot space recovery. Sometimes that works. Usually just depends on which version of ADB and fastboot tools you have. I want to say there's also an, a fastboot space OEM command or something similar. But usually the best way to boot into an Android boot mode is by using the button combination. So what we're going to do here is we're going to press and hold the power button to force the device to turn off. And then as soon as the screen goes black, we're going to let go of those two buttons, or we're going to let go of the power button. And then we're going to hold the power button and the volume up button. And we're going to continue to hold those two buttons until we see that Lineage OS recovery screen that we saw. Now what you saw right there sometimes will happen whenever we do not let go of the buttons properly. If that happens, the phone will reboot just as you saw, and it may take a couple of tries. It's easier for me to do it off camera. But you can attempt it again and again. If you end up booting into Android, the operating system will likely replace your custom recovery with the stock recovery. So if you notice that, you're going to need to flash the recovery image again. But once you get the timing down, you're going to be booted into the special Lineage OS recovery. And from here, we need to tap on the factory reset option. We can also control this by using the hardware buttons if you wanted to. And then we're going to format data and do a factory reset. This can take a little bit of time. Just wait patiently. Whenever the data wipe is complete, you can tap the back arrow up there. And now we're going to sideload the update. We're going to sideload this custom ROM by tapping on the apply update option and then the apply from ADB option. Now again we need to have the USB cable connected to our phone and then to our PC and we're going to go into that same terminal, PowerShell, or command prompt and we're going to do the ADB sideload command. Again, this needs to be in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools, which also needs to contain that Lineage OS zip file. So again, we have put our phone into sideload mode. We have typed out the command ADB space sideload space. And then again, we just start typing out the name of that file and we're going to press the tab button to autocomplete. And for me, it was the first result on the autocomplete tab. You may have to try a couple times to end up getting the right file. So again, our command will be ADB space sideload space lineage OS, whatever else the name of the file, dot zip. And we're going to press enter on the keyboard. So not only are we going to get a progress bar here, or a progress number, but we're also getting some information on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 as well. We're being told that the supported API is level 3, the phone is finding the update package, and then it proceeds to verify the update package. All we need to do is wait patiently for ADB to send this file over. And then we're going to wait for our phone to actually install this custom ROM. It's likely going to not hang, but pause here at 74 or 47% while the phone actually goes through the file name or the file itself unpackages those image files and then patches the system image for us. We're still showing 47 percent 
in our PowerShell command prompt. And again, we're just letting the phone work its magic, run the script, and hopefully you will get a script succeeded result down here at the bottom. Now we're just going to tap the back arrow to go back to the Lineage OS recovery main menu. Now, if you are wanting to install Google Apps, a G Apps package that it's also known as, this is where you would sideload it just like you sideloaded that Lineage OS zip file. Meaning we would go to apply update, apply from ADB, put that zip file, that Google Apps zip file in our same folder as ADB and Fastboot tools. And then we would do the ADB side load Google Apps, whatever the file name is. And it would be similar to how that is. All that ADB side load is, is it's flashing that zip file like you would do in a TWRP custom recovery. I'm not going to be doing that in this video since this is strictly for Lineage OS. But I will also say this is where you can also ADB sideload Majisk if you wanted to have root access to your phone. From here, you could do that. Again, we would just go apply update, go into apply from ADB, and we would ADB sideload that Majisk zip file. When you're ready though, we're just going to tap the reboot system now option. And right here, we can also unplug the USB cable since it is no longer needed. This is going to be the first boot into Lineage OS 18.1 on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 with the code name Lavender. So this first boot into Lineage OS is likely going to take longer than normal, but as you can see, it's fairly quick. I'm just going to skim through this activation screen. So that you can quickly see the Lineage OS has been installed, is running fine, and is currently on Android 11. So special thanks to the developers behind Lineage OS and the maintainer behind this specific build, which I believe is Ultra Gamer HD. And that is how to both download and install the Lineage OS 18.1 custom ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7.